deep down a bow and a the cause of suffering to Samuria said Java we are depending on the five brigade to go said Java that lead to river consciousness my name is a six cents fear from the game feeling for example we are not back yet and a son as a trial by the laws of Chita and the mark there must be four minute process BT to a specific decision suppose someone see a beautiful flower as a result of his past good deed, the first mental process will be Dida Boenga and Boenga Chalana, Bengu Bakchira, and Chadwara Wazan, and then Chaku Winyan, Winyana, and then Sambre San Sandirana, Sandirana, Boto, Javana, Javana, sometime, and then Dadayo, Dadayo, and then Boenga Boenga. That is first mental process. In this Javana, those are Vivaga Dama. According to Vivagadma, cannot produce uh, another seeds or another life. Second mental process, third mental process is same. And the fourth mental process, is, it is very important. Tita Bhuenga, Bhuenga Chalana, Bhuengu Pachira, Bhano Dwara Pachira, and then sometimes Javana and Dadayunara and Bhuenga Bhuenga. If we don't predict Vipassana well, the seventh Javana comprises in the fourth VT will be Lova, free javana. Among them, the first javana will produce its effect at the present life as immediate effective karma. That is called data dama vinya karma. The last javana will produce in the result, its result in the next existence or next life at the and the rest of javana activate until the time before new body says a nibana datu. By the laws of chita and dhamma. That is very important for everyone, okay? This is a very important message I want to, to give to all of you, okay? By the laws of Chita Dhamma, mind can be a one trillion, ten to the power, four times in one snappy. There should be also ten times of snappy in one second, that is shoe. This means that mind can be a ten trillion times in one second. If so, let's explore how many of our lives can be produced by a single green javana in the sixth javana, so excluding the first one. The possible number of APR lives for six javana is definitely equal to 10 to the power 13 over 112 into six. That is approximately equal to 5.3 into 10 to the power 11. That means that if we don't meditate at all, if we have to Lova or dosa or moha, the avaya seeds will be 5 into 10 to the power 11 times seeds avaya lives for every one second video is immoral. So that is very important. Okay? Each of the great javana can produce in life in peta avaya bumi. So it is impossible to mention by mathematical number or figure the amount of future lives that one had collected through only sansara. Nevertheless, if one perceives nibbana and attain the first path, soda body mega, all the immoral deeds for their lives collected throughout the sansara will be eliminated at all. If one can figure out the real process of fight aggregate together, together with their cause and effect, the cycling effect of Richard's Mubara Dhamma may cease moment, momentarily. If season time is longer and very frequent, one will finally escape from all complicated network called sansara with a perfect understanding of four noble truth, that is, noble truth, uh, noble truth or suffering is to be understood, the noble truth or a cause of suffering is to be uh, abandoned, and the noble truth or uh, cessation of suffering is to be. Uh, understood, understood, and the number two, uh, the, the number two of part to the cessation uh, of suffering is to be developed, and then there is the nirvana and Richard's Mubara will completely cease or cut forever or enlighten. Sadhu.
Thank you very much, Siaji Uongjo, uh, for your presentation and for um, explaining the link between uh, scientific knowledge and also uh, Buddhism uh, before your lecture begin. Um, now, um, just to um, give you an overview about the panel, and I'm, I think uh, I, I have time to actually give a, a very brief summary of uh, the panel. Um, so, Sialin Donimala has um, uh, talked about the, the relationship between uh, just Mokbata and meditation, uh, especially looking at the Mokbata uh, way of using just Mokbata in order to practice. And also, Siyaji Wonjo has touched on the Patejas uh, Mokbara and different from different uh, in relation to the Patana and also Abhidhamma. And just to give you an, a very brief overview about the Pacific links. So we have seen kind of um, dependent origination from theoretical point of view. And one point that I would like to highlight here is, as Siali Tonimala said, there are many traditions of meditation traditions in Myanmar. And when we look at uh, the Bami's, let's call it Bami's meditation tradition, some of them use theoretical knowledge as a, as a starting point. So such as Mogo uh, tradition or Pa'au tradition. And then we also have other traditions such as uh, Te'engu or Solon, where the, the practice is the starting point. So you can see here uh, a spectrum of uh, how uh, Pariyati and Paripati comes together, as it were. And some also have different ways of analyzing uh, meditation, for example, in uh, Dengu meditation tradition, they would actually say that the breaking through the link between uh, Vedana and Sankara, the, that's the, the, the key. Vedana as in kind of Kaika uh, Dukkha Vedana or that kind of um, uh, observing, observation of the uh, painful sensation, for example. So you have that kind of uh, the link. Another important uh, point that I would like to make here is when we look at Bami's meditation tradition or medita meditation traditions in Myanmar, we can also see that the importance of uh, Abhidhamma. So Abhidhamma studies actually provide uh, a basic framework for uh, for the practice, so we we seen it in um, Mughal tradition, and you might be wondering, okay, you know, the the teaching uh, which is so profound, such as um, this Patejja uh, Samobara, how can it be applied? So the important question here, I think, that we should actually consider is um, the kind of what does it mean when we say bhavana? Okay, are we actually reflecting, or are we also intellectualizing? So, because it's very easy to get into the 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 kind of the pattern of just thinking about it, those teachings, when you are actually supposed to be observing the uh, the mindfulness of the breath or anything like that. So, the if we can or if and how we can actually differentiate uh, reflection and also intellectualization. That's one point that I want to uh, highlight. Um, another point before I open the question up to the floor is that, um, as you can see from uh, over there in, on the screen, you have seen, you can see that there's a diagram. And also on the conference folder, you can also see another diagram showing Pateja uh, Sambhupada. And just an over, just a background in terms of this diagram. This diagram actually predates Mogul uh, 
but they just smoke by the version of the diagram. Um, this one was, uh, I think, drawn up by um, Mankind Seattle, um, who was one of the prominent monks uh, during Mindong period. And, and so this kind of uh, diagram predates. And you can see that in, in Bami's tradition, as it were, uh, we have a habit of drawing diagrams and, and illustrating, which is also very, in my opinion, which is also a very good uh, teaching but, um, pedagogy, pedagogical tool in order to explain such a complex, profound uh, doctrine. So those are the points that I would like to highlight. And now I would like to welcome uh, questions from the floor. Uh, for the Professor Sire. Uh, if I'm not wrong, did you mention that the, the Buddha is not a philosopher? I'm not saying I'm, if I'm I not don't, wrong. I don't think so. If someone who may say Buddha is philosopher, that is not enough. Because Buddha, Buddha is not philosopher at all. He uh, explores the nature of Dhamma, that is I say. Normally, what do we say is yeah. the Buddha, he's a philosopher, scientist, feminist, social reformer, great teacher, environmentalist. Why? Because social, the philosopher, in the four seals of the Dharma, mm -hmm. in the four seals of Dharma, what he said was, all phenomena is, mm, inter, no, no, all phenomena is impermanent, and all composite phenomena is suffering, all phenomena is emptiness, then nirvana is peace. So on this particular topic, the four seals of the Dharma, what is impermanence, we, uh, we debate a lot. What is suffering, we debate a lot. What is emptiness, we debate a lot. So can't you still call him as a philosopher? In my view, okay, philosophy is I think that Actually, is one a, thing, what we have to understand yeah. is Buddha didn't talk is, only about the natural things, yeah. And also, he talks about lots of things about the mind, too. In that case, uh, no? may I say that the definition of philosophy is limited to the time and space. That is, I understand. Because we cannot apply that something like the Socrates philosophy nowadays. We cannot apply that philosophy at all. But Buddha Dhamma is before Dhamma, Buddha or after Dhamma. That is always true, okay? That is or oh, I discuss about that conditional true, absolute the tr true and noble true, okay, right? Conventional truth and uh, ultimate truth. Yeah, when we talk you about mean ulti ultimate, ultimate true, I mean noble true, okay? The noble true is perfect for anyone free from time and space at all. And did you mention the, the time and space during the Buddha and now these days it's not relevant to yeah. today's life? Yeah, yesterday, we discussed that there is three phenomena, right? One is Samurya Sakya, another one is Paramata Sakya, the other one is Riya Sakya, okay? Someone who are thinking about that. Yesterday, uh, I, uh, I remember that. Envyness and Sonyada, someone who are considering about the Sonyada, what Buddha taught, Nibbana Sonyada, he cannot to find the real meaning. Because there is another region, okay, Paramata Sekja, uh, Paramata region, Paramata Sekja region in between. So if you consider any, uh, I think any problem that is with, you are considering with self. And also, one cannot, yeah, yes, one cannot uh, think or Thing right in the right way if he is in atta, okay? That is with self. It is quite different someone who really understands about the paramata dhamma in terms of nama and rupa, cause and effect of nama and rupa. His vision is already changed. That is key point. If someone who first Riya Sajja region, Riya Sajja phenomena, that one's already changed all the phenomena at all. Actually, it's a science who has changed. 
Right. In terms of the Buddhas, the teaching on the, the law of impermanence, interdependent, the law of causality, nothing has changed from the 2,600 years ago. The science, what this is, is first, the atom is the smallest particle. In the Abhidhamma Kosha, the Vasubandhu has written much more subtler than this. And now the science, what this is, is, oh, atom is not the smallest. It can divide into electron and proton. Oh, electron and proton is not the subtlest. It can further divide into quarks. So science has changed. But as for the Buddhism, the, the teachings of the Lord Buddha, especially on the time and the space, in the time, there are three possibilities, mm. past, future, yeah. and present. And between the past time and the time, three possibilities. Past time is a time, but time is not a, what, past time. It can be a future times. So, phenomena, where during the Buddha spirit, when he mentioned for all the phenomena, it includes mobiles and everything, right? If someone say past, present, and future, that is also pinyata, right? What? Pinya, pinya. Pinyana. Pinyati. Pinyata Dhamma. Yes. That is. But also house, this ultimate truth women. is no, yeah, yes. no space. Yeah. No time. Yeah, yes. In uh Pramada Sagja, something like that, Nama and Rupa, has no time and space or no uh, past or present or future. In Patana Dhamma. Okay. Now we are arguing on the Buddha's teaching. Now still how you can't say that the Buddha is not a philosopher. We are arguing oh, on the Buddha's okay. teaching, right? Still, we can't, how he can't admit that the Buddha is a philosopher? I know about what you mean, but I said that it is my version only, okay? Oh, right. if, if you like that idea, you can accept. Or if you don't like... No, 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 it's okay. Never mind. But in my opinion, in my... View, okay. If someone who understands about the Nama Rupa or really that time, that jnana is free from time and space at all. Okay. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, has written one book called Ancient Wisdom, Modern World. How the Buddha's teaching of 2,600 years ago can imply in this very present situation. <laughs> yeah, it is very wonderful that, you know. In other, I think the Bible, they, or nobody, they have to put it, some of the logic, because of that. It is not quite fit, nobody, okay. Uh, the other Bible is, uh, they, uh, they feel other idea, but, in Buddha Abhidhamma, after 2,600 years, there is no excess or no, uh, so we cannot, no one cannot okay, change that Abhidhamma, okay? So Paramatta Dhamma is always right. And the Paramatta Dhamma is free from time and space. Okay. If you try Vipassana, you can understand that easily in the right way. Right? If you want to uh, discuss with me, Father, why don't you hesitate at all after this session? Sure. Okay? We can discuss. Yes, thank you very much. I think um, discussion whether it's uh, philosophical or not, this kind of discussion, um, we can continue uh, after this session. Any more question? Uh, uh, I think uh, Pong Pong first, and then Professor okay. later. Okay. And thank you for all speakers. We have great knowledge about Princess Mubarak. Uh, my question is uh, related to not only today's speaker, but also just today's speaker, all speakers. As you know, uh, yesterday one of the speakers says that to get peace, we should remove ignorance. 
And then he refers to always, uh, the economics always is uh, the cause of uh, sufferings. Yesterday, one of the speakers says, to get peace, we should remove economics. And uh, today, uh, Ban Riberg, Reverend Dr. Nimula says, uh, to break through the links, we should uh, focus on within Abyssia, Tana. In the links, we should remove within, we should focus on within. But in the first discourse of the Bodas, in the massacre of within Soda, the cause of sufferings, Samudia decides Tana. So, here, a uh, deep to break through the links, uh, the, the, which kind of part or which kind of factor should we focus on to remove or to get rid of? This is an past question. Another question is, uh, the aim and object of this uh, conference is to break through uh, the links, so this is very good intention. So, present mobile is a theory or we are brightest. So please explain. Thank you. So yesterday, that one of the speaker, he discussed to experience peace, we have to remove ignorance. That is, uh, I think this is very obvious. Peace here means inner peace. Uh, we mean inner peace. If we have inner peace, then, of course, we can experience outer peace also. So here, ignorance, uh, as we know, this is uh, a wager. If we can remove means, uh, if we can contemplate, if we gain knowledge, this is wisdom. If we gain wager, then it is wisdom. So uh, if we have wager, we have inner peace. If we have our wager, we don't have that inner peace. That is uh, to my understanding. And another question is uh, link between that Vedana and Tana. That is uh, Mogul Siaro, he, he, he proclaimed that we have to, uh, that the Buddha attained enlightenment between Vedana and Tana, not under the body tree. Uh, because uh, the bodhisattva can break through that from Vedana to, uh, if we break Vedana, then there is no more uh, that Tana. So that's why I, uh, if we can contemplate whatever Vedana it may be, pleasant, unpleasant, or neither pleasant or unpleasant, then if we can contemplate that on that Vedana, then there is no craving, no more craving. That is removing, removing that uh, Tana, craving. So uh, we remove gradually, 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 and, and finally we will, we will get rid, rid of all that Tana, craving. So uh, once uh, one of the ladies, she said, the whole teaching, the purpose of the whole teachings of the Buddha is to get rid of the tana. To get rid of tana is the main purpose uh, of the Buddha's teaching. So if we can get rid of tana, then uh, it means we, we have wajja. We, we have no more awajja. So uh, another one is whether dependent origination is to be practiced or to be learned. To be understood, is it? Is it? So, uh, depend, uh, that Professor Asanga, on, on his keynote speech, he, he mentioned that, that dependent origination is to be understood, not to be developed. Because in, in that uh, diagram, we can see there are only two truths, that Samudhiya, Dokha, and again, Samudhiya and Dokha. So there are only two truths in, uh, I mean, in forward order, Anu Loma. In Anu Loma, we have that Samudhiya Sajja, Dokha Sajja. And Samudhiya Sajja and Dokha Sajja, only, uh, only two truths we can see. But in reverse order, Pati Loma, we can see that Nirora Sajja. 
if we can uh, that uh, if we don't have any ignorance, then there will be no sankara. So no no more sankara, no more vinyana. So this is nirora saja. So if we in forward order, there is only uh, samudaya and dukkha, but in reverse order, we have nirora. So this is a core, uh, that Professor Asenga in his keynote speech he mentioned that. Uh, that dependent origination is to be understood, not to be uh, practiced, not to be developed. To be developed is the, uh, the, the, that, the fourth noble truth, mega sajja. Mega sajja, we have to develop to, uh, for the cessation of suffering. That is to my understanding. Uh, thank you, Professor. You, uh, I appreciate your lecture. You are very good at making difficult points more difficult. Um, I am confused about uh, some words uh, in your lecture. Uh, just now you said uh, anyone's uh, uh, understanding, uh, understanding ignorance as a beginning of samsara is wrong. But in Tipitaka, the Buddha says, Avicha si, uh, of defilement, Avicha si sang. Ignorance is the head. And then in Vishitimaka, there is sentence, Avicha mulakang sangsara chakang, the circle of sangsara is with ignorance at the, at the root. Okay, please uh, make me understand mm, this word. Okay, please, Professor, thank you. Very good question, thank you. The most of the Buddhist, uh, such as uh, Meridita, uh, they misunderstand about the Veja is the starting point of Sansara. And then may I ask you that if Veja is the study, who create the Veja? Right? In that case, if Sansara, the starting point of Sansara is Veja, Veja will be creator. It is quite different to Buddha Dhamma, right? It's very important. So, I assert that there is no uh, first cause, okay? I give the example of hen and egg, all right? Which, uh, in hen and egg uh, puzzle, which one is the first cause? No one can answer. But there is two type of question. This uh, this hand um, is born from this egg. Okay, this is one mini. Another one is, in that case, hang egg, so which one is uh, the first cause? No one can answer. In, in like this. Very good question. Because most of the uh, Buddhism people misunderstand about that. Wine, okay. In my paper, we better see this moral, right? There is no first cause at all. You see? Because in Brisa Smovara Dhamma, according to Kilisa Veda, that is Veja, right? Veja is Kilisa Veda. It will produce Kama Veda. And then, the cause of, because of the Kama Veda, that will produce Vivaga Veda again. And then, according to that Vivaga Veda, that will produce Kili, Kilisa Veda. And then, Kilisa Veda produce Kama Veda, and so on. There is, so, there is no first cause. If anyone who assumed that Kilisa Veda is first cause, that is, that will be Ochera Deity. 
because there is no first cause of kilesa Buddha, right? This is very important. So, Buddha gave very important message in Bodhicca Smubhara, this idea. And then, may I advise you all that if someone who went to understand deeply Bodhicca Smubhara Dhamma, he may be learn Mahasti Patana Sudha and Patana Dhamma. Hello, um, my name is Adam Conway. Uh, I really enjoyed both the talks, so thank you very much. Um, my question is for uh, either of the respected speakers. Um, the the Panchakanda, the five aggregates, um, in the Paticca Samupada, four of them uh, are there, explicitly mentioned, but one isn't. So my, my question is, where is Sanya? In the, where does it? Because uh, his question is uh, con <laughs> regarded, regarding to CRD, right? You are timeless, and you mean? E either of, uh, anybody can answer the question. Yeah, yeah, where is Sanya? Yes, yes, sorry, yes, so Sanya, Sanya in, in, in dependent origination? Yes, it, it, isn't, it isn't mentioned where the other four uh, aggregates are, Vinyana, Sankara, I Vedana. I, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Um, because uh, in the past, uh, we, we have already mentioned in my diagram that in Mughal Bhattacharya Samobhada diagram, there is uh, the first division, the first group is for the past life. Uh, we can change anything. But the second group is the for present life. Uh, present life, it, it is because of past cause, we have present effect. So in that present, in this present life, that sanya. Sanya is if we see something, or if we eat, or if we smell, or if we heart, uh, through the six sense doors, uh, for, uh, for easily comprehensible, like uh, we, we see something. Uh, when we see something, that visible object, that 